Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about Dell Power Edge R630, and we're going to continue on our series, and this one's going to be about the different types of chassis. Let's get rolling. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell Power Edge R630. Do us a favor. If you find anything in this video useful, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, so in this video, we're really just going to be covering the different types of chassis. And really, there's not too, too many variations, but it is important that you know the different variations. So the main variation are the actual uh, the storage in the front. So you have what is the traditional standard. You have your 8-bay small form factor, which is hot swap, and you have your 10-bay small form factor which is also hot swap those are the normal two chassis that are really predominant on the market there's technically a third chassis which i kind of call the unicorn chassis because you really never see it and it's a 24 bay 1.8 inch uh, also a hot swap um, uh, style chassis within the eight bay chassis which are these two here we'll show you here in a second there's two types of chassis on the eight bay one chassis takes three pcie slots which are all the half um, half height risers and then the other is uh, two uh, PCI risers one of those being a full height and one of those being a half height and it's important that you know the difference because you could end up with uh, the, the two PCI riser when you're wanting the three and not know it so just that little difference is important so I'm going to show you the different boards here uh, and you can see the different types of chassis in the front uh, but before I open these up I'm actually going to grab my uh, ESD gloves and be right back all right, so we're going to pop these open and we're going to actually show you the different riser versions. So we're starting with the 10 bay here because this is the one we've actually been building out during this whole series. Um, so on this 10 bay, uh, there's only one real style for the risers and they all have three risers, but I still want to point it out. So there's riser one and riser three. Riser one, I'm going to pull it out so that you can see it. Riser one has two risers on it okay so riser one is really two risers and then riser three is the third riser all of these use the low profile or the half height uh, profile uh, so do not get the full height bracket and that is the three pci version this is also most common um, and this is definitely the the version that you want um, if you don't need uh, all three PCIe's you might be able to actually get yourself a little deal on the uh, the two PCIe version uh, because uh, it is a little bit less expensive it won't be a huge discount but you would be able to get a little bit off but personally I recommend the three PCI version you never know what you're going to do in the future so it's always good to have uh, the extra riser in case you want to install something later down the line so we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you the two eight bays next all right, so this is going to be the 8-bay chassis, which is also going to have 3 PCI. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the 3 PCIe slots in the back. So it looks honestly pretty much the exact same. Riser 1, Riser 3. Riser 1 has the, uh, the two risers on it. Literally the exact same setup here, but I wanted to show you that before we uh, pulled out the two PCIe riser version uh, because that will look a little bit different. You will notice on this one as well, we actually have the, uh, the RAID card and the NIC card installed, which will be two of our videos coming up for the other uh, 10 bay that we're gonna install those here in a few minutes. All right, so this chassis is the uh, two PCI version. Okay, so we're gonna pop open the top just like normal. So you can see right away, there's a very distinguishable difference in the back here. You have riser two and riser three. With riser two, you just got one uh, PCIe slot over here. Same thing, riser three, one PCIe slot. I will note when you use it in this case, uh, this is a low profile and this is the full height or the high profile. Uh, whereas where the, the version for the three PCIe, they're all low profile. That is one big difference to note because it's always a pain when you get the wrong bracket and you have to go buy you know, a five, $10 bracket and it 
you know, cost you downtime and getting your server up because of a stupid bracket. So uh, just making sure you have the right bracket is actually pretty important sometimes. So um, I will also note that it sure looks like you can take the other riser and put it in over here and turn this in or convert this to a three PCIe version. That is not the case. Uh, you can, this will remain a two PCIe version um, and you cannot take uh, the riser from the other, other system and make it a three PCIe version. It will stay a PCIe two version. So just know that going into it, okay? So that covers the uh, different types of chassis for the R630. Felt like, you know, this was a, a, a relatively quick video, but felt like it was still an important video to note because you just don't want to get stuck with the two PCIe and then pay for it the same as the three PCIe. If you're getting the two PCIe, at least just make sure you're getting a discount. So if you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking to buy an R630 or you want a custom built one, we'd sure love the opportunity to earn your business. Email us at sales at cloudengines.com. That's sales at cloudengines.com. And if you made it this far, appreciate your time. Take care, guys.